I'm Dr. Benjamin F. Chavis, Jr. The Chavis Chronicles, Season 3. You know, the world learned about Malcolm when he was only in his 20s. And he was assassinated at 39, and that was just 12 short years to have made such, you know, an enormous impact. Yes. I would be now old enough to be his mother. And so that's, you know, putting him in context, you know, to be such a young man and, and, and having made such an impact, an everlasting impact. One-on-one -on -one interviews with top political insiders. And everything that we're doing uh, will affect the, the people who need it the most, uh, the people who are, who are left behind. Critical issues deeply impacting communities. We have to own our story, because if we don't, then people will tell you that Dr. King came down to this country, won a Nobel Peace Prize, and told you to judge people by the content of their character, not the color of their skin, and then he died in his sleep. They don't tell you about the revolutionary that was King. That's right. The, the, the freedom fighter who was fighting for wages in Memphis, Tennessee, the person who had a lower approval rating than Donald Trump at his death. They don't talk about that person. So we have to control our narrative and tell our story. Analysis of historical movements and the push for change now. When we look at where the majority of the fossil fuel facilities are located, they're located in black and brown and indigenous lands. And we know that the pollution that's coming out of there is warming up our oceans and warming up our planet. 